Hi all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. Today's episode, we're going to cover Fish World Aquarium in Dandenong. This is a store that, as you can see from the footage above, does the online world really well. The guys there have a, uh, a really good sense of humor and have a really uh, fresh and up-to-date uh, Facebook page, which keeps you in touch with what they have um, coming in store and what specials they have. But that being said, there's nothing quite like being in, in store for a local fish shop. So um, sit back and enjoy the tour and let's see where it goes. Okay, so here we are at Fish World Aquarium. You can see the store's got quite a presence from the front. It's got a beautiful uh, wrap on the windows. It's um, no mistaking that it's an aquarium that has uh, marine stock when you walk in. And um, as soon as you open the door, you're greeted with uh, friendly faces and a um, bit of a thumbs up there. Um, the store is just currently being um, uh, refreshed or renovated, I guess. And um, the marine section, which we'll get to soon, is just looking incredible. But um, I better do the obligatory uh, run through some of the freshwater stuff first because I know uh, people want to see what's a, the whole range is available in store so it'd be uh, rude to just uh, walk past 50% of the shop um, particularly when uh, the freshwater displays are so nice and the fish look um, super friendly I, I must admit they all come running up to the surface whenever um, they saw the camera so either the food that the, um, the team feed them here is um, something that looks like my camera or uh, the, they were about to get fed but they were um, super keen to see me see a range of uh, ornaments and uh, fake plants there for freshwater guys. We can see um, a huge range of guppies here, watching them all stream up to the surface. They're certain they're about to be fed, which I guess it wasn't far after opening when I was here, so um, they probably are expecting food at some stage. Um, but either way, it makes for good footage because, um, yeah, we get to see all the fish stream to the surface. You see a big fan there, which is nice because, um, yeah, it was a really hot day when I was there. It was, uh, I think it was in Melbourne, it was going to be about 40 degrees. Um, and uh, I, I, ironically, despite being into uh, fish keeping, I don't like humidity all that much. So um, when you add heat, humidity and uh, fish stores together, it uh, gets hot real quick. Anyway, let's move on to uh, the display cabinet here where we've got some more uh, particular items. You can see like uh, uh, reverse osmosis membranes there and filters, um, some magnetic cleaners, some uh, core fifth dosing pumps. Um, some more specialized equipment they've got there, but here's um, the new piece they're working on. This is going to be their new coral tanks, and I have to admit, these things are a work of art. These tanks have been uh, custom-made overseas. Uh, they've got black glass uh, overflows rather than your usual acrylic. They've got this beautiful, tidy black silicon all the way around. These things just look slick, and I cannot wait, particularly with that light frame, I cannot wait to see them full of corals just absolutely popping with color. Okay, so we're going to have a bit more of a look now at some dry goods, some supplements, foods, um, nutrient control. There's a big range of aquavirus gear there. But uh, here we get to the uh, probably a bit of the, the main draw card of the store, really, in, in my opinion, is this beautiful uh, display tank, which has been running now for quite some time. I remember visiting this store a, a fair while ago and seeing um, this tank in all its glory then and being blown away. So um, you can see here it's ticking along really well. We've got a wicked anemone in there doing its thing. Um, there's a heap of soft corals and acans, and when we get to the other end, you'll see these beautiful scullies there, as close as I've seen in person to rainbow scullies, really. And you see, it looks like it's been lit up by um, some Alu Magic uh, Blaze. No, they're not Blaze, sorry, they're Styles. Sorry about that, Alu Magic Styles, and they look to be doing a good job. I don't know the dimensions of this tank, I'm going to guess it's something like 10 by 4. Um, it's a big tank, and there's a, a lot of swimming room there, there's some cool fish, there's a nice wrasse. Another cleaner ass, another ass looks like a yeah, hooded ass. Yeah, beautiful colors. I must admit, I need to get more ass in my tank because they're um, such active members and um, have such color to them and personalities. You see a big elegance there. Um, and probably the biggest bubble coral I've ever seen in my life. That thing's just, you don't forget the size of this tank. So when you see something that big in a tank this size, you know it's big, that's gonna fill. Have a look at the color on that bubble coral. Whew. Well, actually, I'm not even sure if that's a bubble or a cyanaria. The one on the rock's definitely a bubble. The one on the sand could be a cyanaria, but it's really strange. This guy here is pretty cool. Um, I just like this, like the freckles almost on his face. And here's some of these scullies we're talking about. You can see the um, bleeding apple with splashes of yellow through it, the rainbow behind it, um, and the red there with some green splashes, almost like a reverse bleeding apple. Pretty cool to see. And um, yeah, these fish also were looking for a bit of food. All right, we'll swing by and have a look at the uh, complete tanks here. You can see like they're, they're set up dry, so you can get an idea of the size of them and compare 
apples against apples, I guess. They also do like package deals. So this is a Red Sea Reef at Deluxe. Um, and it lists everything that it comes with. So um, basically they're putting, it's almost like their drive away, no more to pay type deal, which is, it's really good. It gives people the idea to compare the costs of everything as they go rather than just comparing the tank and then finding out that if they go from a two foot tank to a four foot tank, they're going to have to spend more money on a skimmer and then more money on lights. They can um, compare it all in one hit there. So that's a great idea. All right, now let's get over to this absolutely stunning uh, fish display here, which is chock-a-block full of some beautiful fish too. So um, I probably don't need me to talk a lot here because all I'm going to do is be telling you what um, you already know. But uh, just um, if you want to turn the volume down or, or just zone out, or you can keep listening to me if you want. Let's just check out some of these incredible fish in here. I love that um, one-spot fox face. There's some uh, butterflies, royal grammars. Another nice file fish. I'm really getting attached to those at the moment. I've got to find somewhere to put them. Some super active wrasse. A uh, nice little puffer down there. Of course, there's some clownfish in there. Another really vibrant flame angel. Um, seemed to be the flavor of the day. I saw a couple of beautiful flame angels. Some designer clowns. A couple of tangs uh, keeping each other honest there. I think they're all G'd up because they think they're going to be fed. So we've got some mandarins just sitting down there. Okay, your purple tang, blue tang. Another file fish. <laughs> Funny guys. Um, some more designer clowns in there. Looks like maybe a selfie in the back. A uh, bicolor, scooter blenny, long nose hawk. Uh, some of my favorite fish in this tank. We've got some pyramid butterflies, clown tang, flame angel. Looks like a powder blue. That angel, I'm not sure what that one is. Someone might be able to tell me. There's a magnificent fox face. There's that pyramid butterfly. I love those fish. They're just um, so peaceful. Uh, there's another butterfly. Looks like a uh, angel, square block amphia, some tangs. Looks like a pearl scale angel, so hold tang. I think maybe a chorus wrasse in the background there. This one just has an awesome stingray in there. Such a cool looking dude. It's not something you see in store very often. Um, I'd love to know who out there has one of these in their tanks because um, such a stunning creature. And then uh, this tank up the back here has got, yeah, just a, an eel chilling there. I was hoping to see if he'd move out, because if, see if he thought he was going to get fed. And another strange looking eel. This guy is, yeah, he's like short and stumpy. I'm um, not sure what type of eel he was. Okay, you got this uh, big angel up there on his own. He's a decent sized unit. What are you, another big tang? I'm not sure what type he is, I'm sorry. Scopaz swimming around pretty keen there. Some more pyramid butterflies, south in fox face. Looks like a uh, white cheek by color angel. South in showing the sails. Got powder blue there. Looks like maybe a blue face angel. Fox face copper band. Sail fin looks like, uh, what do we got there? A bunch of chromis. A nice uh, gold barred rabbit fish. Some more fox face, different type of uh, damsels, and I think they were yellow line. There's a coral beauty and a tank full of bang guys. You can see the um, filtration setup on these tanks. The, these things are absolutely clean as a whistle. Um, got some of the brand new gear in there. We've got some the Red Sea skimmers. You can see a big uh, block of uh, marine pure in each one. Looks like they're running aquamedic return pumps. The next couple of systems are running the eShops S300 skimmers. Um, you can see, that, yeah, just the mechanical filtration. Everything there is just neat as a button. So congrats to the guys there and doing such a great job. You got uh, on the other side here of the uh, fish room, just a bit of an extra room for uh, dry goods there. You can see some of those brand new skimmers. And I'll just do a quick run back past the um, dry goods and maybe a quick little sneak at that uh, display tank again. But it's uh, bringing me to the end of um, the video for Fish World in Dandenong. It's a store that I have to openly admit I haven't been to a lot of times before and um, it was quite nice to visit. It was a really nice setup. It's in their Facebook page because it had been um, just something that kept coming up on my news feed. Uh, obviously, I like related um, pages and that, yeah, like I said, they do online right and it's good to see that they do in-store right. So if, like me, you've only um, you've only followed them online, I recommend getting down to Dandenong and uh, checking them out because... Um, it's it's nice to say they don't just do online, right? They do in store, right? So um, yeah. Anyway, congrats to Leanne and Andy, and um, thanks for watching. Cheers.